I'm Anne Faulkner from UK Online Centres and we're currently at the QE2 Centre in Westminster at the Digital Inclusion Conference. This conference is trying to put together a, a kind of manifesto coming from like delegates about digital inclusion, so things that we need to feedback are very important. Would there be anything from, from your perspective that would go into that kind of manifesto? I just think it's important that we're not left behind with technology, that we need to start thinking about how we use new technologies so that we can appeal to as wide a range of people as possible. I suppose one of the most important things that we can include in there is a measure for digital inclusion that can be applied to local authorities and partnerships. It helps us to then take away from the idea that digital inclusion is a one-off project and in fact actually it should be an ongoing cultural change within local authorities. Well, I think it's uh, mainly about giving people, empowering people, empowering learners to uh, be able to really improve their lives and through, uh, through technology. There's so much technology out there and that's uh, kind of available to everybody. So it, it, shouldn't be a, it shouldn't be a means test of resource, that's why. Thanks a lot. My past was murky. I was bullied at school, so didn't get into education. Thought it was a waste of time, to be quite honest. Um, I was a drug addict. I was an alcoholic. Um, I went through that until I walked into an online UK centre. From being there, I've now done my plate, I've done plate plus, I've gone on to do my maths and English all over again, I'm now studying to be a counsellor, <laughs> those was just dreams, you know, and um, thanks to the online UK centre, I'm now living that dream, <laughs> you know. And I think the manifesto has to ensure that accessibility for the individual is quite a complicated situation. One solution doesn't necessarily fit a wide group of people. We need more training, we need more awareness of the importance, and we need support for people so they're not scared of what actually technology can offer. I would like to see some concern about the issue of participation in equality and about the fact that in digital media, some small group of people are making too much noise compared to the vast majority and that kind of balance is a real issue in terms of democratisation or the way we perceive it within democratic processes. Uh, I think there are far too many dots that are unjoined at the moment and I think the manifesto should be about getting everyone talking together um, and, that, and just creating a bedrock um, and I think there's lots of these kind of conferences taking place by the lots of meetups, bar meetups, little local gov groups that are meeting up and so lots of conversations but is it really all happening in the same place at the same time? I think that's the place to start. There's been quite a bit of use of the word universal in the conference so far today. I'd like to see it become something that is a, has universal access. I think it's sort of gov governance by the people and for the people uh, to go back a few hundred years. The web allows people to take control of their immediate surroundings by communicating effectively the problems there to people who have the power to correct them. I think there has to be uh, an acceptance that this is a very fluid social media. Anyway, talking about social media is, uh, is very is very fluid, and it works well when people can sort of breathe with it and experiment and play and have the freedom to do that and the and the knowledge, you know, to do that. Uh, I suppose my immediate response to that is to start where people are. Don't set up something new. Don't set up something that's different and odd and, and unusual, start where people already are, start with the trusted organisations, the community groups that are already in place, um, uh, where, where people who, who, who perhaps are excluded are getting some support and advice at the moment, that's the place to start and that's the place to, you know, to, to, to the outreach and begin where, where, where people are comfortable and, and uh, already feeling supported. Okay, and if you had one message for the Digital Manifesto, what would that be? Get with it or you're going to be left behind. <laughs> That's lovely, thanks a lot.